Hi guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Kenna and I'm your favorite Cameroonian YouTuber based in Douala, Cameroon. So my weekend continues. If you watch my last vlog, you know that I had spent the weekend at Karen's house. So this was a Saturday morning and we decided that it was the day for us to take the kids out for a full day of fun. The first stop was just at this fun center at Lokpom guys this place is beautiful it has so many games for kids and adults but no let me not talk about bird now let's just enjoy this vlog and i'll tell you everything about this place at the end of the video so see you at the end guys Okay, after having a lot of fun, we stayed in that place for at least three hours. We decided to come now to Bonaprizo La Marquise. We chose La Marquise because when they are here, kids can be playing while the adults sit and wait for the food. So this was the perfect place. We sat while waiting for the food and the kids went and played. We ate and we left.
Yeah, mother. The hurry of the day. It has shoes for me. And you are showing it. Such a show off. <laughs> Guys, tell me something. This cute boy, he can never be Karen's son now. This kind of cute boy, never, never. Licky, why are you claiming? That's not your mother now. Show me your mother. Malik. Look at I told you Frida was coming. Show me your mother. That's your mother. I'm not your mother. With you, I can be sad with you. Just take my hand and fly up through the dreams where the skies are so clear. With you, I want to stay with you. With you, I love the way that you love me today. Let's run. Okay guys, um, <laughs> I'm just done shooting a video for my um, Big Brother channel, my my review channel guys. Are you subscribed to that channel? Please, so if you are not subscribed to that channel, can you kindly go and subscribe to that channel? On that channel, I plan to do a lot of movie reviews, a few movie recommendations and just things like that. So if you are interested in things like that, please can you go and subscribe? Even if you're not interested, just go and support me. Okay. So yeah guys, we went to this place. As you can see, I'm already back home. <laughs> we went to this place. This is like one week later. We went went there. It was so fun. But yeah, as usual, I want to tell end this video by telling you what I think about the playground. I've been to La Marquise a couple of times and I'm sure I've talked about it a whole lot on this channel. So you guys should already know what I basically think about it. But for the playground, the first thing is um, they have no information online. It's a beautiful place. I'm sure you guys saw it. They have no inf information online. They actually have two places. They have the bowling center, the bowling center in Bonaparte, and then they have this kids fun center at Lokpom. We had no information. Like we had to before we found a place. It was first of all on the Tabaski Fest. Tabaski is the Muslim fest, so festival. So. We knew that the popular places were going to be full so we're trying to look for somewhere that is not that popular to go to with the kids and guys i must tell you we stress and stress there are so many of these places there are at least 15 of these places in cameroon in Douala. But we ca we cannot locate them because they don't have social media handles. They don't have numbers. So we looked, looked, looked. And when we came across that one, it was really colorful. I was like, Mama, we are going to this one. So we struggled. Luckily, they had a number. We called the number and she said we should follow the Google map, guys. The Google map carried us. Like, you should already know in Cameroon, Google map works if the, the, the place is really defined. Like, if it's like my street. It's going to work perfectly but when it comes to those places that you have to bend bend there are no main roads and things like that ha it cannot work so it carried us we went to one bush we had to call and call and we finally got there the annoying thing is we caught we reached the place first of all there was no signboard there was nothing showing us that this is where we are going to so we had to go back call the woman and she sent somebody only for us to discover that the place that we actually packed at was just like 20 steps away from the place so we now went there there is no signboard to show like you have this type of beautiful place i feel like we know the tribe for marketing this beautiful place you don't have a social media um you don't have a page for it two you don't even have a signboard the signboard that they showed us is washed off like for how beautiful and big that place is 
they need like a huge signboard from the entrance to like they did not have anything so i was just like it was all washed off signboard i was just like okay when we got there we it was um the prices are not bad i think we paid two thousand francs for each child to play inside that um inside the gym is it the gym inside the playground you pay two thousand francs if you want the kid to go out as in out will be swimming you pay three thousand for the child to play inside and then go out to swim but since we were not planning for the kids to swim because they have a pool at the back we decided to pay two thousand francs each for kids and kids will be children from 10 years below Ch children from is it 12 wait sorry kids from 12 years below so we pay two two thousand for all of them and then for adults we paid one one thousand francs and they gave us some coins that we used to play the dancing games the basketball game the car racing and things like that so for me for the prices the prices are pretty affordable i like their services they have like these little lockers where you go you cannot go there without socks you have to go there with socks if not you buy socks because you don't um i think the material that they use to do the the decoration of that place the floor you you might destroy it the place where the kids play so if you walk bare feet so you have to go with socks so yeah they asked us to come with our socks if you don't go with socks you have to buy socks 500 i forgot to take socks for some people so <laughs> we had to buy socks for like one five or is it two thousand we bought socks when there it was really nice really interesting so fun it was so beautiful guys like ah it was such a nice time the kids had so much fun like if you want your kids to have four full blown fun is that how they say it if you want your kids to have full blown fun <laughs> you take them there they will have a great time it was such an interesting time we had so much fun like the place is the place is nice and i like the fact that it was not full it was not tight my only problem is the location is so far yes it's it's mm, people live in it might not be far but for me it was so far like and i left from Koto to go there so imagine if i was to put <laughs> i am not going living bonaberry to go to that kind of far place i'm sorry <laughs> i'd rather not go like it's pretty far so i feel for the location mm -hmm. but but still i think they should do a lot of marketing because there are so many people that we who go like when we're looking for that place we asked a girl that was living in that neighborhood like do you know if we play center here and she was like no each time i have to go with my kids to play i take them to bonamusadi just imagine and they have a place just behind them there which is very affordable and nobody is even aware aware of it so yeah guys that's that's basically it about the place it was so nice after that we left went to um lama case like i already said in the video i love going to like i'm lama case because you just throw your kids in that place for them to be playing like that restaurant is the first and only one that i know of basically the only kids friendly restaurant in Douala like that that has they have this kid high chairs if you go with your baby you can put your baby on the high chair they have that play the playground and things like that so you could still be having a quiet time while you come to eat with your children just go and keep them there to be playing so yes the only problem with my kids is the prices if your pockets are not full auntie uncle you cannot go there because <laughs> there will be they, their pizzas like oh it's a time like this that I miss pizza her their pizzas are really small but the prices are really big <laughs> so so like their big pizza they'll say it's 9500 but it's not up to, i think it's like 16 it's like this ring light is like 16 or it's 14 inches so that's it but the pizza is really nice their food is really nice and i also just consider that okay you're paying for that playground and the food the ac the cleanliness and all that so yeah that was it it was a fun time what do you guys think about this video let me know in the comment section thank you guys very much for watching and kenna is going to see you on her next one love you bye